Good morning, family. I am on this morning briefly just to share with you an experience that I had a few days ago. Um, I just wanted to let you know that this is strictly for entertainment purposes, okay? So I was shopping in a department store. I went to get a few items and just out of curiosity, I said, let me check, you know, the sand aisle to see if they had anything new that I didn't have as yet. And I found some new stuff. I got all, all excited and I picked out what I loved and it was probably like five or six items. I picked up my favorite and I proceeded to leave the aisle. And as I pushed my car, I started to feel bad. And I'm like, this is not a good feeling, Lord, what is it? I looked around, no one else was through the aisle with me. So I said, Lord, what is it? And he said, stop. So I stopped the car and he said, look. And I automatically just looked to my right. And there was this box. It was a diffuser oil set, but it had seven chakras on the name of the cover. The name on the cover. And I'm like, why in the world would this be in this store? Why would anyone want to awaken the seven chakras? See, as a pastor, I know better. Any deliverance minister, any exorcist knows the dangers of the Kundalini spirit. That is a serpent spirit that is awakened. It's, best way I could put it, it enters once you open your seven chakras. Okay, those are portals. Those are doorways to your soul. So that allows that serpent spirit in and that type of spirit wraps around your spine. So it's deeply entrenched and it's reinforced and it's very difficult to get rid of. So one thing I've learned about deliverance ministry is that demons are very easy to enter and very hard to get out. So that's why the Lord would have me to teach so much, warn you, but for the most part, most people do not listen and they suffer very grave consequences. So I do my part as a child of God, but with free will, most of the people don't listen because we have a choice to choose and most people make bad decisions. Okay. So I'm looking at it and it has the number three on it. And those of you who know about sorcery know that they operate in numbers of three, multiples of three and seven in spiritualism. So I'm like, why in the world? I said, you know what? I took a quick picture of it. I looked at the brand and it said Atmosfera. And I was like, oh boy. I say, Lord, I closed my eyes. I said, Lord, please don't let these things. I just pick up have that brand on its name, that brand on the box. Sure enough, everything I picked up and had in my car had that brand of Atmosfera. And I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, putting it back, I'm going to research this company. I'm going to come back. I mean, depending on what I find, I'm going to have to come back and warn the store because that store is not known to um, have a bunch of those items around. So something is not right if all of a sudden these type of spiritual items are just suddenly surfacing so I was like you know what let me just do a little research before I open my mouth so the Kundalini spirit is a serpentine spirit and it normally enters well your seven chakras have to open for it to enter and it normally enters through um, meditation hypnosis yoga that kind of thing and I, I, I try to understand, well, after I found out about yoga, I had to do a lot of research. And if you look up the word yoga, it means union. The practice of yoga causes you to unite with the Hindu god, Brahman. You cannot be a child of God. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot serve the God of Abraham and then pay homage to another God. If you're going by your Bible, your Bible 
listen, God spoke about him being a jealous God. He said, you would have no other gods before me. So how is it that you could believe that you can serve the one true living God and still turn around and pay homage to an Egyptian God or a Greek God and still think that you're saved? It's not happening. When you perform spiritual practices outside of the Holy Spirit, you dislodge the Holy Spirit and you allow that God, lowercase g, to enter you. Okay? So people of God, you have to be very careful of the things that you open up your spirit man to. So when I got home, I did some research. And it turns out that Atmosphera is a, um, a decor company. And it's, it has a lot of stuff. It has um, votive candle holders. I mean, beautiful stuff. The stuff is very affordable. The stuff smells nice. But yeah, I, all that glitters is not gold. And with my experience, I know how the enemy portrays himself. He always makes things look, sound, taste good, you know, smell good, all that stuff. But that's the poor part of the deception. So I went on the website and I know once I see keywords, see, things are like hidden in plain sight when it comes to spiritualism. So like normally you would see like what we're about when you go on a company's site and they're like what we're all about. You would see like words like, that's how I know it's be spiritual. I mean, other than through discernment, it would be like words like body, soul, and spirit. You would see um, aura, you would see vibes, you would see words like chakra, you would see words like just basically how to dealing with spiritualism. Blessings, woman of God. Love you, sis. You would see um, those words. So I went searching for key words to see the hidden agenda. So I went on the website and I scrolled down to Atmosphera Universe. And then I clicked on Who Are We? And the second paragraph under a brand with founding values i printed it out just in case it gets deleted right right here it says our atmosphere brand now has a presence throughout france and abroad thanks to our partner distributors who can offer you our furniture lighting home textiles and decorative objects in order to help you create the interior of your dreams thank you for opening the door of your heart and your interiors to us season after season listen this is a careful choice of words they say thank you for opening the door of your heart put a pen in it in my book my first book i did a teaching on the doors to your heart i identified eight doors to your soul right there are eight doors to your soul. The mind, the heart, the eyes, the ears, the mouth, the hands, the genitals, and the anus. People of God, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot allow the devil to deceive you into allowing him to put things in your heart. I'm going to give you two scriptures in which he put things in the heart of people and they likewise eventually perish. You're gonna not, you're not gonna think anything's wrong. You're actually gonna defend the the avenue through which the devil is coming at you. You're gonna defend it because you're comfortable with it, because it's a pitting to the eye, because it feels good. You're gonna defend it. John 13 and 2, it says. And supper being ended, the devil having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot to betray Jesus. That's one. We all know what ended up happening to Judas, right? Acts 5 and 3. And Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart? To lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself. So you know the fate of Ananias and Sapphira. So you got to be careful of what you allow to be put through the door of your heart. The door of your heart, it comes through like a thought. You have to be careful of, what you, of the thoughts that you entertain. 
Our hearts and our minds are connected together. And this company is thanking you for opening the door of your heart to them and your interiors. Not are they just talking about your body, soul, and spirit, but they're talking about your home, where your loved ones are. It gets better. So they have other things that I saw in the store too and on the website. They have decorative cushions. They have home and car scents, scented candles. They have, when I say flush, lovely blankets. Beautiful. They have curtains for the home, for the kids particularly. They have stuffed animals. They had a stuffed reindeer. Cute little thing. And when I look at the rain there, God said, this is why I told you to stop celebrating Christmas. See, when I am done posting this video, I'm going to repost what God told me about Christmas Day. So you would have a better understanding. And what I'm learning, see, we're living in a world where sickness and affliction and untimely death is the new norm. And if you are not hearing the voice of God for yourself, sad will be your cry. There are young people that are walking around and dropping down dead. There are young healthy people that are going to sleep and not waking up. We are living in a world where tradition don't matter, sweetie. It don't matter no more. What you need is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's what you need. That's who you need to make it. You need to be able to hear the voice of God. I've been celebrating Christmas all my life. But you know what changed it? When the Holy Spirit ministered to my heart. See, the Holy Spirit has put good nuggets in my heart. The devil has tried too, but I, I, le I have learned to rebuke the devil. I've learned to rebuke him. Um, but you've got to recognize it's the devil. So people of God, the Holy Spirit had to convict me and let me know, mm -mm, no more Christmas. This is how you honor me. And I did a video on it. I'm going to repost it for you. I don't want to take up too much time on that. Okay. So if you are making it in these end times, you're going to have to learn to identify the voice of God. Sometimes it comes as one mind. And you will know throughout life when you don't listen to one mind, whether you are a Christian or you are a big time sinner, it don't matter. One mind is usually the voice of the Holy Spirit. And you notice that when you don't listen to one mind, you find yourself in a lot of problems. You have to be able to recognize God's voice and obey what he's saying. And if you don't understand something, you gotta, that's your Heavenly Father. You have a right to talk to him and question him. Because you know, when, when he told me you need to stop celebrating Christmas, I was like, why? Why? What you mean? What? What? So people of God, you better buckle up and back up, buckle up quickly. They have candle holders, and I'm, I'm talking about the long stem ones. Beautiful. Okay, they have fragrance warmers. They have diffusers. They have scented candles. Now, here's the fun part. On a lot of the items in the store and on the website, they had this name. It's, I don't, I don't speak French, but it said Coffre Centure. I'm not sure about it, but I'm going to post the screenshots that I got and the pictures that I took at the end of this message, okay? When I Googled it, I kid you not, I'm going to I'm going to send you this, I'm going to post the screenshot. It meant in English, casket scent. Now, I don't know what y'all is take casket to mean in Paris, but in the Bahamas, a casket is associated with one thing, and that's death. That's what we put dead people. So, if you bring in that culture here, it ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. We ain't, listen, you gotta check us to get us, man. It's not gonna work. A casket in French can also mean a small case. But this, this, um, this phrase was on stuff that wasn't in a case. It's tricky. So, you could take it to mean whatever you want to make it to mean, but casket alone is enough for Bahamian to be like, okay, no thank you. We already have enough people dying. No thank you. Mm-mm. People of God, y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. They actually had 
I saw it on the website and I saw it in the store also. There's a wooden casket, a wooden box that had more diffuser oils and a burner for it in the wooden kufri. Um, they actually had a candle set. And those of you who know about um, performing rituals, y'all who wicked and y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know about lighting candles and using your feather to fan the smoke. They actually had a candle set with the feather. Everything is equipped for your ritual. People of God, listen, these are no coincidences, man. I'm here to warn you to look out for these things. All right. On the next box set, it said Moon Jardin Secret, which is a French phrase that means my secret world. I will attach that photo also. People of God, I did my due diligence as a child of God when God gave me a revelation and he gave me the unction to share. I did my part. It is up to you. I, I do not debate anything that God tells me. Either you believe or you don't. People of God, this is the time to wake up. This is the time to wake up. We need to be I am prostrate before God because things are getting worse in our world. And we can't make it without God. We cannot make it without God. We cannot make it without the Holy Spirit. So, people of God, I did my part in warning you. I pray that this message is received. Feel free to do your own research. Look at the screenshots. Um, make your own screenshots. You do your own research so you do not purchase these items and bring them into your home, bring them into your sanctuary. Because I don't care how saved you are. If you give the enemy legal access to your home, he is only programmed to do three things. Steal, kill, and destroy. Amen? Receive the word of God, people.